Good morning everyone, it is The Wanderer and today I'm here in Bracknell and to be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea what I'm in the mood for, however, we are outside a major shopping district called The Lexicon. Now, I've only been in The Lexicon once and funnily enough it was actually yesterday, just to scour, scout the place out and it's kind of the Bracknell equivalent of the Oracle and I have to say, beat the Oracle in every way. So we're going to go there, get some shots of the Lexicon, really good shopping district, decide what we're going to eat, might try something new, might try something familiar. With that being said everyone, like I say, no idea what I'm in the mood for but we'll work it out. If you do like this kind of stuff guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new and I've been practicing, the bell is there. It is there, click it, I hope it's right, I'm going to do that just in case. <laughs> I'm the wonder everyone and here we go, let's make a move. Although before we do go into the lexicon, the first place I want to check out is Larges Lane. I've been to Bracknell a few times before to check out their non-league football team, and as you're aware from a previous vlog, they don't actually play there anymore, they play in Sandhurst. There's a few images coming up now of what Larges Lane used to look like, amazing stadium, uh, but now we're going to see what's become of Larges Lane before we get to the lexicon. Let's make a move. Okay, so there is some slight good news that I wasn't aware of. The old home of Bragnall, and I am going to go a little bit further, was actually over there. However, it does look like they're not going to be in Sandhurst forever, because the new home of Bracknell is going to be over here. Not sure when it's going to open, not sure why they wanted to go from there to there, but if you are a Bracknell Town supporter, you'll be happy to know you'll be playing here in the very near future. Oh dear, oh dear. So after having a look around and seeing some of these wonderful shops, and like I said, compared to the Oracle, really, really nice place. What we've decided though, uh, we're gonna do a first on the channel. We're going Greek. Uh, behind me is a place called The Real Greek. We're gonna give that a shot. Can't remember the last time I had Greek. We're probably going back about 15 years at least. So it's gonna be a new experience. We're gonna go in there, rate the service, rate the food, and hopefully, hopefully, if the food is as good as the shopping district, we should be on for a good one. I have to say, it's very lively in here. We might be in for a long wait to get served. Quite surprising considering today is Wednesday. Um, and when it comes to Greek, I have to say, 
I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. So I've actually got my eyes on um, a falafel and fried calip. That was rather loud, wasn't it? Fried calamari with a falafel. And also, I'm going to try one of their signature beers. I'm going to go for the Draft Alpha Omega Lager, uh, £5.50 pint. As I say, though, it took us a little while to actually get into the place. Um, and, oh, I said we. I am with cameraman Harry. He's been um, telling me to tell you, but he's here as well. So you're going to get two dishes, um, and we'll see what he fancies. And on Harry's side of things, he's going for a Greek trio, which I think he's seeing here. So the Greek trio is you choose a top, a middle, and a bottom. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure. He's, he's probably going to surprise me. I'm going to wait and see until it's in front of me. If I was to choose a Greek trio, I would have probably gone for probably the Greek flatbread with falafel, because I've never had falafel before, and I'm having it today anyway. And the bottom would probably be either rice or the chick Peas. Again, something that I'm not familiar with. So that's what Harry's going for, but I don't know what his combination's going to be. We'll find out when it gets here. Uh, now we just got to wait to be served. Lovely. And for me, can I go for um, falafel with a fried calamari? And for a drink, I go for a draft Alpha Omega pint. Uh, that's the lager. Yeah. Uh, Okay, everyone, so we ordered the food. That was done at 1.09. Harry has a weird feeling, though. This is not going to be the 15 minutes or less, and I am inclined to agree with him. However, lady came over. She apologised for the wait. Um, she took the order very nicely, smiley, very friendly, wrote everything down, pen and paper, confirmed everything with us. She seemed happy, like, and everything. I think service, I'll go for four. Four on service, I think. Uh, but now it's all about the time, but I have to say you know, it's a really nice looking place in here I mean, it's it's bigger than you think when you look outside and you've got your outdoor eating area too Of course, I want to be indoors because I'm the idiot in a beanie <laughs> Just gonna wait for the food to arrive and hopefully as I say 109 ordered 112 now I Don't think we're gonna hit five, but it would be a nice surprise. Okay, so everyone, obviously, as we all know, I do like the odd drink here or there. This is a new one on me, Alpha Omega Draft Beer. As always, everybody, it is currently 10 p.m. around the region of Tokyo. So let's see where we are with this. I have to say, the froth cut through very easily. When it touched the top of my mouth. It's like, it's like it wasn't even there, it just cut through. Beer itself, very smooth, decent taste. No horrible aftertaste, but I mean, if I'm sort of rambling a bit, when it comes to something like Stella, for instance, I always struggle with the first one because it's just taste. I will have it eventually. This, if I was one of the people that wanted to neck a drink, I probably could. It's really nice. All right then everyone, the time is now 1.35. The timer has expired. No matter what time mine comes now, it will be a one on the time. It's understandable, like I say, it's very, very busy in here. Um, and is time a very important factor? As long as it tastes good, then I won't mind. Um, one of Harry's bits has come though, and so I will show you what that looks like before mine arrives. Harry's given me, he says it's very, very spicy. He's given me permission just to have a little bit of the, um, the spicy dip. Well, so I've got a little bit. I've got a fair little chunk there. Here we go. Okay, it's a, oh, there is a kick coming now. Oh, oh, hello. That's, it, it went in really cold. It felt like a really cold salsa, but now it's a weak kick but an unexpected one. It was nice. All right then everyone, so the first thing that Harry had was his uh, starter. It has now arrived, it is 1.46. Uh, that is a 37 minute wait. However, where I'm giving a time of one, I think I might be giving the presentation a very easy five. Have a look.
So of course I've gone for the falafel. Perhaps, um, well, here's the first falafel I've ever eaten. And the calamari. Again, it's another first for me. Not sure where to start, but I think I might go with the, with the calamari. There's a dip in there as well. Oh, very nice. Like onion rings, but I'm expecting this to be rather squiddy, I think. Yeah, that'll be the word. That'll be the word. Here we go. Okay. I have to say, flavour, never had squid before. Not a lot. Not a lot of flavour there, but I think that's how it's meant to be. It's very, like, rubbery. It was quite hard to bite through. I think if there's going to be any flavour, it's going to be with my, with my sauce here. Let's try another bite here. Mm. That sauce has racked it up. It's nice. The outside, the fry, obviously, it is really nice, but not much of a pinch on the inside. It's only just coming through now, and it's very minor. So we're now moving on to the falafel side of things. A few little things on the plate. I think we'll start off with, I don't know, what seems to be some kind of little salad here, but let's have a look. That's really nice, really fresh. Nice amount of crunch. Some peppers in there. Um, what looks to be, looks like some kind of onion, but it might have a, a proper name that I don't know of. Other side, looks like looks like tomatoes and onions, but again, might not be. I should read these menus more thoroughly. <laughs> two for two on the plate so far, that was nice as well. Let's go into the main event here. Cut that in half. Oh, hello. If I'm thinking of, if I'm thinking of anything, I'm thinking mint. <laughs> but here we go. That's really, really nice actually. That's got a nice flavor. The closest thing, that I can think of at the top of my head to how that tastes is like an onion bhaji, but but better. Like I don't know, it's got a really nice flavour. That's really nice. That that the falafel side of things is really nice. The calamari, not a hundred percent on it, I have to say, but with the sauce, really improved. We're going to eat this, guys. Give you the review, and uh, we'll let you know how the real Greek stands. Not part of my taste score, but cameraman Harry has allowed me to steal a chip. And by allowed me, I mean he has actually no say in the matter. We're gonna take a chip here and uh, see how it goes. That's really nice actually, really nice amount of salt on there. Um, again, it's the kind of stuff that is actually literally like a McDonald's fry. I was about to do my comparison. If I, we had a McDonald's yesterday when we scouted this place out. I know, we were looking everywhere, where can we go? We went to Mackey's, and these are like the same chips. So I rate them highly, that's really good. Um, for the amount of chips in the bowl and how much it costs, Harry, I think I owe you, I think I owe you 15p for that one. We'll add it to the running total. So we've just got ourselves the bill, we'll show you how much it comes to. Uh, the, the sauces that came on mine, the falafel had a tahini dip and the uh, calamari had a lemon mayonnaise. Uh, you know, it did, yeah, it was like a mayonnaise, but it did have a, a twang, if you will. Uh, let's have a look at this bill, and I have to say, for what we've paid for, uh, for what we've ordered, I should say, it's pretty reasonable. Uh, 
Darkhaven everyone, so that was The Real Greek, and I have to say, um, we're just going to go straight down to business with the taste score. Um, I think you could tell with the calamari I wasn't overly impressed. For me, I just think when I heard squid, I just thought it would pack a lot more flavour, it would taste a lot more like fish. It was very, very plain. Obviously the, the breaded, the fried looked look like onion rings, obviously that part had a bit of flavour, but what's inside, what's most important, didn't. If I was just rating the falafel on its own, I would have probably gone five. The falafel was actually really, really good. And if I was to rate the calamari on its own, I would have probably gone uh, maybe like a two. So I, I think I have to split that down the middle and say the taste of what I had was a three out of five. And that means the real Greek gets a grand score of 13 out of 20. Now what of course you have to remember is, is the time was a one. If I had a five time, you'd have been looking at an 18 out of 20. Still a very good experience, despite the fact that I wasn't thinking that calamari was all that. Uh, sorry, did I say 18? I meant uh, 17. Sorry, of course, you know, forgive my maths. You wouldn't believe that I work here with, with money. <laughs> anyway, with that being said, yeah, 13 out of 20, doesn't, don't think of it as a bad thing. It's the time. Is the time important? Not really. It was a good vibe in there, good atmosphere. Staff were great. Would I go again? Hmm think about it. I'll definitely try some of the other stuff. Uh, Harry was telling me that what he had was really good, uh, some kind of like really nice lamb. The side that he had was, uh, you know, I stole a couple of chips. They were nice, so I might have to try some of them. Anyway guys, if you do like this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell, it's this one, to be notified. Uh, with that being said, I'm the Wanderer, and until next time, bye for now. Well, we'll go one at a time from now on. F***ing you know. hell. Okay then everyone, so Bill paid. We've just come out of the real Greek and uh, I guess we have to get right down to business and rate the taste. Uh, so for the time we waited, the... Uh, f***, gotta try that again, <laughs> sorry. Hang on, I'll try that again.